Hi, I'm Dave Sudia, a developer advocate for Ambassador Labs, and today I'm going to tell you about telepresence and header propagation. First, some background. Telepresence is a developer productivity tool that connects your local development environment to a cluster, allowing you to maintain your favorite local development practices while working as if you were in your integration environment. You can run Telepresence Connect and talk to pods in the cluster via your browser or curl as if you were a pod in the cluster. You can also intercept pods in the cluster and have requests to that pod come to the locally running code on your laptop, bringing the fast feedback of local development to Kubernetes. The open source version of Telepresence intercepts all traffic to a pod. This can work for some teams, but a major limitation is if two developers need to work on the same application concurrently, or if adding latency or potential bugs to the integration environment is unacceptable. For these cases, Ambassador Labs offers a feature in Telepresence for Teams called the Personal Intercept. When using a personal intercept, Telepresence can selectively route requests to a developer's computer based on an HTTP header value. By default, Telepresence looks for the header X Telepresence ID, and a logged in Telepresence user is assigned a unique value for that header on any intercept they create. I get my test requests, my coworker gets her test requests, and the rest of the traffic to the application goes to the original pod in the cluster. However, because personal intercepts rely on an HTTP header value, that header must be present in any request I want to intercept. This is very easy in the first service behind an API gateway, as the header can be added using Ambassador Labs preview URL feature, browser plugins, or in tools like Postman, and the entire request with headers intact will be forwarded to the first upstream service. However, the original request terminates at the first service that receives it. For the intercept header to reach any services further upstream, the first service must propagate it by retrieving the header value from the request and storing it somewhere or passing it down the function call chain to be retrieved by any functions that make a network call to the upstream service. Depending on the programming language the services are written in and the environment of the services, this has historically represented a Herculean task, requiring manually updating the code along every function call path to propagate the X telepresence ID header. This is obviously not a realistic scenario for most organizations. Thankfully, there's a class of tooling that has matured rapidly in the last several years that also relies on HTTP headers, observability. For most languages, adding support for personal intercepts is now a quick copy paste, and for some languages, it requires no code modification at all. If you are using or evaluating Telepresence for Teams and your environment does not already support header propagation, Ambassador Labs now recommends using open telemetry packages and tooling and the baggage header to quickly and easily get your Kubernetes services ready for personal intercepts. What is OpenTelemetry? Commonly shortened to OTEL, it's a cloud-native computing foundation project with the goal of providing high-quality, ubiquitous, and portable telemetry to enable effective observability. It has largely unified previous standards for tracing and metrics and is in the process of doing the same for logging. It has SDKs for 11 of the most popular programming languages and their major frameworks. It is used by organizations like eBay and Apple. It is backed and supported by every major observability vendor. Simply put, OpenTelemetry is the new industry standard for exporting observability data from your infrastructure and applications, which is why we can recommend using it without reservation. Investing in it for telepresence for teams also sets your organization up for success for larger observability efforts. In addition to traces, metrics, and logs, OTEL has a signal called baggage, which allows trace-related data that you want throughout your system, like a client ID, to be easily propagated to all services. Mechanically, baggage is passed via a baggage header that is a set of key value pairs. I'm going to show you some examples of how easy it is to get open telemetry into your code and a demo using telepresence with it in a working system. First, here's a small example Ruby app that I've auto instrumented with open telemetry. As you can see, it takes seven lines of code, three imports, and a function. Granted, this is not a production ready app, but believe me, it's not much more difficult than this in prod. Even better, for .NET, Java, Node, and Python, I don't have to modify my code at all. I can install the OpenTelemetry operator for Kubernetes and auto-instrument my code with just some YAML annotations. Here, I have an instrumentation object that tells the operator what to inject into my containers. As you can see, I'm asking it to propagate traces and baggage. On the right, I have snippets from my deployment YAMLs, where I've added annotations telling the operator to inject instrumentation into my Node and Java services. Let's look at that in action. I have two apps, a node app that receives a call to slash uppercase with a query parameter of a string to uppercase. It in turn calls a Java app that actually does the uppercasing, and then I get a response back through both apps. Neither app contains any open telemetry packages, but they are auto-instrumented by the operator in the cluster. I'm going to intercept the Java app, then I will send a request into the node app. 
With both of them instrumented to propagate baggage headers, I should see the request come to my local dev environment. First, I'm going to start up my local dev version of the Java app. Next, in this tab, I have already run Telepresence Connect, connecting me to the cluster. Now I will intercept the Java service, telling Telepresence to look for a baggage header with a key value of dev ID equals 123456. Custom Telepresence headers use regex, so even if there were more key values in the baggage header, this would still work. Now in this tab, I'm going to curl a request to my Node app and... Back over here, we can see that my request was received and processed by my local version of the Java app with no code changes required by me as the developer. OpenTelemetry has auto-instrumentation packages for these programming languages. These four languages have auto-instrumentation packages you can use if you prefer, but they also support injection from the operator. You can install and play with these code samples yourself by going to this repo or following the QR code. We also have links to the resources mentioned above and the OpenTelemetry registry where you can find all the packages they offer for your favorite language or framework. Thanks for watching and happy coding.